Greetings and welcome back to Extra Reassembly. Reassembly modded more than your minds can possibly understand, because I can't. Welcome to the Faction Select. In the last one, we were one of these factions. Yes, I can't remember. In this one, oh, you remember Mojo? Our nemesis would never die. In this one, we are going mechanical. Yes, we are going fully robotic. Let's wipe out all of those organic scum. Now, I'm not a good builder, so this is going to get really, really bad, really, really quick. But until then, let's get our murder on and get our murder epic. So for those who don't know, we assembly is about starting with one ship in a faction. This faction we chose was mechanical. You have bases and also ships which build other ships. As they grab resources, they will expand and grow and build. So you'll see your own faction ships out there. You can also build your own faction ship types at any one time. So you press 3 and you have a factory attached. You can build your own things. As you can see right now, it's all computer built. We can have ships follow us, we can have ships go out and mine, they're going out to grab resources, you can see these little blue dots, if you can see them, are resources we are grabbing. And so begins the great journey. Now right now it's going out and grabbing some things, so I'll be right back as I slowly build up resources to upgrade, because you can also upgrade yourself. So we have new items, we have armour, defenders, destroyers, thrusters of course, and then missile launchers. Now, as you upgrade, you can build yourself to more points. I have 454, 500 points. A factory is cheap, so I can easily build more ships off with me, but I'm not going to do that. I can also give myself another cannon and slowly evolve myself into a war machine of epic proportions. Of course, right now, that's going to be a little bit tough, but I believe in us. So welcome to the beginning of the mechanical race, which we shall name. We can't name the Borg. They were already organic. Give me a second. After some minor changes, I figured out why everything is crackling. Do not put halos on the game. The game is old and is no longer fully supported. So we are the Xenon from X4, 3 and 2, but not that one in the middle, which we don't talk about. We can also be part Borg, I guess. Anyway, our goal is clear. We must crush the enemy. Now, right now, we don't really have much access. So I press U, I can upgrade myself. As you can see, it's 200 credits for a little bit more points. Now, I can also buy new shinier weaponry and equipment, like this thing called the Annihilator, the Burning Beam. But you know, oh this one, the Destroyer. It launches, launches, it launches drones. Now, of course, once I've done that, I can do other things. But do I want to? Not yet, no. Now, right now, my little fleet is travelling. They're doing a few other things. If I ever go back to any of these stations, or any ships or a factory, I can deploy my resources I'm picking up to get credits. If I keep the resources, I can use them to build my own thing. Right now, I don't really have my own thing, so obviously I can't do that, and my ship is weak and feeble. As you can see, it's very weak and feeble. Oh, I can change the colour. So what am I going to do? Well, first of all, I'm going to add the destroyer drones. So I right click, you fire your missiles and your drones. Usually, you can obviously change things you saw with the bindings. But obviously, I would have to be right mouse. Uh, another thing we need to do, of course, is build and grow. Now, right now, of course, building and growing is easy because we're small. And we can gather resources to get credits quickly. Obviously, at the later stages, that's going to be tougher. This is an enemy. Uh-oh. I'm fighting the bicorns. Kill them, drone destroyers! Oh god! These are crystalline entities. We're okay with them vaguely, but almost on the same side. There's more of them than me. We're no longer on the same side. Ah, there's too many. If you die, you lose all the resources you're carrying, and the enemy gets to pick them up. Of course, then you get a brand new ship. It will always give you a brand new ship. But if you ever get back to anywhere, obviously you slowly rebuild. It just happens over time. Of course, you need to build correctly, as you can see. Because I've built my ship weirdly, I don't have enough thrusters on the front. And death is almost inevitable slash certain. 
Luckily, apparently the uh, drone army is literally using sheer numbers. That's cool. Maybe it should be Skynet. Maybe the rise of Skynet. Anyway, that's great. That's glorious. We need to push somewhere. Now, the map is vast. And there are player-built fleets everywhere. Well, for now, the one will die. So we need to take territory. We take territory by just flying over it. And then there's a certain areas where stations can be built. There can be 250 stations in this sector. Obviously... <laughs> obviously, we are going to try to take significant amounts of them. But, death comes for us all. Like, really, really quickly. In fact, insanely quickly. So we'll be needing a few more defense as an energy shield. Yes, let's put you here. Requires additional P. That's upgrade. I don't have enough credit. I need more credit. And now we're having the problem. We don't have the resources to do what we want. <coughs> Luckily, if you don't have the resources to do what you want, you get a lovely beep, beep, beep noise. That will be there until you make your ship worse, or you don't. So until we get the resources, beep, beep, beep is now our constant ally. Give me a second. And our second is over. We now have better guns. I just blew one up. So apart from the usual of we're literally using organics as resources, wonder where that came from. Thank you, Matrix. We are trying to do what we can. Now, certain ships you can see are grabbing more. That station will keep on building ships as long as it has resources. So our home world should never be taken. But as you can see on the map in the bottom, we don't have much in the way of territory. And our bigger ships aren't really doing anything useful. So what are our goals? What are our options? Well, not crashing into things for one. Maybe more thrusters. Maybe a lot more thrusters. Our goals are simple. Find a new station, take a new station. It wants me to build a factory upon this ship. I will do so eventually. But not right yet. Come on. I have never realised how weak I am until I fought these ships. Now they are quite tough. They are basically fully armour. But, I should be doing more damage than this. Now my two point defense shield cannons on the front, not as useful as I'd like them to be. They appear to be shotguns. I'm a shogun with a shotgun. So yeah, not going well. Not going well at all. Rebuilds I think are in order. Every time I build these things, the thing I always learn is I am not good at building these things. But you know, it's vaguely serviceable when you have plans. So this is the R3P9. The R3P9? Begin the R3P9. We'll be needing more thrusters. I just stole all my, you just stole all my weapons. And now we can begin looking like someone's praying? Or maybe a splattered bug on the windscreen, because that's the way uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. Let's see if we can kill one target. Oh, that one target. That one target survived from 10 friendlies attacking it. Something tells me my entire fleet and faction are going to need an upgrade. Am I the one to do it? Probably not, if I'm honest. We're probably going to be a little bit doomed. Look at this. That single bicorn, 332 points. Completely surviving everything. But you know. It's fine. It's fine. So yeah, definitely getting some more upgraded ships on the field. Everything I build can be used by my faction. So I'm definitely going to have a few designs thrown into the mix. Because otherwise we are doomed like this guy. If your core dies, you die. It doesn't matter if everything else dies. If your core dies, you die. And obviously my core is in the dead centre of this ship. So is theirs. Now we also need reactors to power the guns and things. Because that's why we're not firing that fast. But, you know. That's also why we have armour. Come on, die! Yes! Yes, my first victory! My first victory of the day! Glory be to the Xenon! Glory to Skynet! Oh, look at that! Look at that! This ship here is already this ship being built. Look at it! 
Oh, and it's already putting out copies of my current ship. There's only two of them. Welcome, brother. So great. I already have these horrible things propagating throughout the entire empire of just that station. That's... That's going to reflect poorly upon my building designs. That's really going to reflect poorly upon my building designs. And we've still yet to find another station. The combat on the frontier is not going well. So as a small starter vessel, the very beginning of our empire, I'm not even the leader of our empire yet, I have not gained that amount of CPU, what actually can I do? As you can see, there's chunks of dead ship everywhere. There's some engines, there's a piece of armour, there's bigger ships moving around. Stolen parts by the look of it. What can I actually do? Now right now all I can really do is grab some resources and kill some targets. Now obviously, the big obviously is I need supplies. And the best way to get them is to kill enemy ships or hang around the asteroid forests. These little space critters will constantly keep making resources as long as their world isn't destroyed. Well done, ship. It appears my faction does not have good reverse thrusters. Oh, you're actually alive. So my goal is simple. Grab resources, build and expand. My biggest goal is to find a second station. We have one station. That means our entire faction is coming from one place. Which isn't the best. Look at the bottom, there is a blue diamond. There's two blue diamonds. All I have to do is stay in the territory and I can take it. Whether it's still defended is a different matter. Now, oh, my faction appears to also be here. That's good. That's good. So there's more than one station of us. Or my people have just pushed out quite well. I don't know. No one gives me the map coordinates and data. But luckily, there's a station. Now you can build your own stations. Otherwise, each faction has its own pre-built style of station of different sizes. But you know, this station is also good. I've oh, built it over here. Yeah, there it is. And there we go. Another station live with even bigger ships and bigger cannons just sitting here. Doing nothing. Well, this one, stop stealing all the pieces of ship. In fact, that's pieces of asteroid. Why do an asteroid attach to you? See, this is why we need to upgrade our CPU. Idiots. Idiots everywhere. But we need to expand, need to grow. I need to keep on pushing, so I'm going to go grab this one over here and get another station in the name of me. Get off. Oh my god, look at the size of that one. Look at the size of him. I'll be you one day. Believe in me. I found multiple contacts. <laughs> Bugger. Found multiple contacts. Now, the other faction just there. Which would be great and all, but I'm dead. Safe journey. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that's mocking me. So, a second faction now hangs out here. Which doesn't tell us what it is. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Look, there they are. Oh. What are you? You are the unnamed spaceships. Okay, it's got less. Oh my god, I got shot from the side. There's some design flaws in my style of building, I feel. Just a few. Just a few. But they are apparently there. Glory be to me, eh? Now, I press tab, I can go into command mode. If I left click on someone, I recruit them. It costs money. But now, I have a small fleet of ships following me. In the left side, you can see I have four ships. It shows you how many points they are and how much resources they have. Now, if you build any ships from yourself, they will automatically follow you, and you can sell them. Like if I left click again, it will give me about half the credits back. So if you're building your own ships from resources, you can then sell the ships and make them independent as it were, selling them out of your control, and you get the money back that way, as opposed to having to go back to a station and getting your resources turned to credits there. Now, I don't have much resources, I don't have much credits, so spending them all on random ships like this could be a problem. See, 472 for that. Now, I can get rid of like I say, there we go. 52 back for that one. And it cost me 66, so I've lost 14. But I've lost more than that because I did it twice. But it shows you how it works. Now, I have a smaller squadron up by my side, which you can see green marked. Maybe I could do something useful. 
maybe this is now our time to shine. They've already gotten stuck on rocks. <laughs> They've already gotten stuck on rocks. Maybe it's our time to shine. Does someone own this? Unexplored. Well, I'm here. But further ahead is the Terrans. Who, let's face it, will be tougher than us. Obviously, each faction gets more powerful as time goes by. The deeper you get, the more established the factions are. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. This is a thousand points at my current stage, not good. No! No, 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 no. I'm faster than you, I need to leave. And my squadron is dead, just like that. So I think we did good work here, guys. I personally think that was a 10 out of 10 moment. I personally think that was great, that was glorious. I, uh, I need to rethink what I'm doing. Give me a second. I've expanded a little bit more, as you can see. I put two resource collectors on the side, expanded our armor out a bit more. So that should give us a better range of gathering resources. What I'm basically building right now is a deep space exploration vessel. If I build a factory entry, which is my next stage, I'll be able to be, uh, last for extended periods outside the comfort of our own home. Which is what I obviously need to do. Because outside the comfort of our own home, it's where everything is. And I'm not yet at a stage where war is what I'm good for. So, yeah. That's what I'm looking at. Now, if I build the factory here, let's say there's no real good places to put it. Like, I could do this. And there we go. I've got two of these factories. Now, I don't know how I'm going to be building this thing. So, right now, it looks a little bit like a dead, flattened crow. Once that's done, we can save. And now I have a build queue. Any resources which go into that can be put into building ships. Those ships will follow me. If I alt in there, there we go. So, every time I press F... I can now well, press 3, I can like edit things. I can literally mouse over things and edit the entire queue. But now every time I press F and I have enough resources, I will build a ship. It also appears to be making resources automatically. I'm assuming because I'm a robot. I'm a robot. But we need our first ship on the field, otherwise I'm a teeny tasty morsel. And the beginnings of our little fleet grow. There we go. The very first ship following me is now here. Welcome... Whatever your number is, it will slowly build itself and defend me to the death. And I can if I want to sell it and send it out into the world. The beginnings of the exploratory vessel force of Skynet slash the Xenon is prepared. Because, my god, we're going to need it. Look how long it takes for to kill a single target. Absolutely ages. And there's more and more and more of us. Just somebody kill something. Please? I'll take it. And there we go, another two ships. The fleet grows. Do we enter the depths of space? I think we do. I think the exploratory force, get, get, get off. Of course, now I'm officially classed as a station because of the uh, factories. Everyone's now delivering resources to me. And your allied forces will also bring resources to you. They grab it, they'll bring it. So now I'll be surrounded constantly by other ships. And obviously when they're fighting, they're going to get close enough to me that my resource gatherers are going to be here to pick it up. Look at that horde. Okay, the swarm. Oh, oh, that's a 8,000. Guys, 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 I'm talking about how we had too many. Guys, stop fighting it. It, has, it outranges you. There goes the squadron. <laughs> and that's the end of the first exploratory force. Task Force 1 is already dead. I just watched 12 ships die to a single station. We're going to have to go back to the drawing board. Welcome to Skynet. Welcome to the Mechanicals. Death to the Organics. And to apparently every single CPU I put into another ship. They're all dead too. But mainly death to the, mecha to the, death to the Mechanics. No, that's already happened. Death to the Organics. Skynet will win.